Hello, my name is Darren, and today I'll be going over Unit 2 for AP Computer Science A. Okay, so here this talks about classes. Classes are basically a template or a blueprint for an object. So um, here we have these attributes for the class peanut butter BJ. So we have two private instance variables right here, string and int. So instance variable stores data of object instances. They are, can be used in a constructor or signature, which consists of a constructor name and a list of parameters. Uh, the constructor name will always be the name of the class, no matter what. So here we have a parameter, which takes in a string and then an integer for the class peanut butter BJ. So here we're setting the instance variables that we saw um, up here and setting them to the parameters that were input in, so whatever the user put. Okay, so void methods, they just basically are methods that just don't return anything. So here we have public void print area, so all it's doing is setting area to this void method, which will not return anything. So void methods can be called with parameters, and also here, um, these methods, can they can be overloaded, um, and there could be different parameters, but whatever the user puts in, as long as it follows the requirements, um, it'll work and it'll choose which method to use. Here we have an overloaded method, but they are both void and have no parameters. But here it'll set area to 5 and area is going to be set to shape area. Um, a non-void method. So then we would have a return method. So make sure that your return method will always return something, otherwise it'll run into an error. So this return method that will return an integer value. So here we have it setting here and then returning an int value. String objects. So strings are objects and that means they have many methods that are already built in. So we have string that concat, which can concatenate. String that replace, which will replace with whatever. String to uppercase that capitalizes everything within the object. Strings are immutable. Um, you cannot alter a string like you could for like an integer or a double or a float. Um, you can only make new ones. So you're making a new object every time you're changing the value. So you can also concatenate strings with a plus sign or plus equals. So here we have a string called NYC and then another string, which is separate, separate memory separate location they don't have a reference to a same object which is to place to dot to uppercase nyc which is just nyc capitalized so the same thing this output will just print nyc in two separate lines and here it will concatenate nyc and nyc okay so string methods the ap test will have a java cook reference so you'll always be able to see all of the methods for string so here we have a e i o u and then a new string that takes this vowels object and then it'll take the substring from 0 to 1. So basically it'll go from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 for 0 to 1. So it'll only take A. Um, this last value it never includes. So if it was 0 to 3 it'd go 0, 1, 2 but not 3. So 0 to 3 would be AEI. Opera classes. Okay so we can go back and forth between primitive and wrapper classes. So wrappers are basically objects of primitive values. Um, you can instantiate wrapper classes like any other object. So here we have a wrapper class. You can see it's different. So this is a wrapper class and this will be a primitive value. So this is a reference and this is like an object. Here it would print the minimum value and then the minimum value is like negative two one something. So that's what would be outputted by A. Java also has math class methods. These are static, meaning the object does not have to be instantiated for the methods to be used. You can just automatically use them. So here we have int random num. So math.random will return a value from zero to 0.99 and then it's being multiplied by six. So therefore you'll get a range from zero to 5.99. However, um, it's being cast with an int. So therefore it'll only return whole numbers. And that's all, thank you.